Welcome back, everyone. Live look there over the Lake of the Ozarks. Do you see it? Do you see those skies finally starting to clear? I can't even remember. Friday was also cloudy. This entire weekend has just been nothing but gloom and doom. We are heading toward those clear skies, though, thanks to that weather cam for giving us a little shot of positivity. Let's head back inside the studio, talk a little bit about what's going on with your weather. Unfortunately, we do have to talk about a little bit of precipitation in the forecast, and it's coming on one of the worst travel days that really we could see for the entire year. But I do want to talk about this just for a moment because it's a very unimpressive system, really, really weak. It's not going to roll in until late tomorrow night, mostly after the midnight hour. We're going to see an increase in cloud cover after tomorrow afternoon will be bright and sunny, and most of it is going to come in the form of rain. You can see a little bit of it starts to change over to that light flurry activity. might even see just a little bit of snow, especially on the northeastern side of mid-Missouri, mainly north of that I-70 line before all is said and done. And a little bit of a clip back from this system might give us just a few clouds before the afternoon is said and done. As I said, really, really unimpressive. Half an inch of snow at best accumulation wise by the time this thing is said and done and south of I-70, just a couple hundredths of an inch of rain. The only issue really with this forecast is the fact that it's coming on a day where a lot of people are going to be out on the roadways. So I'd say just plan now to give yourself a little bit of extra time. We shouldn't be dealing with icing on the roadways either just because temperatures are going to be so warm. It's just something you need to start thinking about now. So Kansas City even has less of a chance of that winter mix as we head into Wednesday. St. Louis is going to see a little bit of a better chance. Chicago, O'Hare Airport. I know a lot of people fly in and out of there for the entire Midwest. Flurries, what else can you expect with cooler temperatures? And Atlanta, another massive hub, is going to have the exact same chance kind of of showers, though. It's just going to be pure shower activity. Temperatures even warmer there into the lower 50s. We're looking at nothing but those skies continuing to clear tonight. I'm actually really happy about this. I'm ready to see a little bit of sunshine.